We're going to address the proper way to sight in a DSG slug gun today. We've got Jake here. We're going to do is show the proper way to approach and set up a bench and a gun to sight in your DSG slug gun for the upcoming season. Basically what we have is a good solid rest, good solid sandbag. Uh, shooting off a rolled up coat or something like that is not a really a desirable way to address zeroing your gun. One of the first things you have to address is whether the bench is solid, if you're going to get any kind of movement, and then that'll tell you that how you have to position your body. You want to set in here with your rib cage just touching this part of the bench, but you don't want to put any undue pressure on it because the bench will move while the gun goes off. So if you want to slide your chair in just a little bit closer because you're a pretty thin guy. Nope, see, you don't want to lean over like that. Bring the stool in so you're up tight against the bench so you're setting vertical. We'll get a slug gun over here. And we'll set up the bags properly. When setting these rests up with a gun, you have to be very aware of where these sling swivel studs are. The last thing you want in the world is for this gun to slide back and that to catch that stud there or back here by catching in the bag. So you position these guns in a position that they have enough room to recoil. You always want two inches here, about the width of two fingers in front of that gun. So that gun has that much to travel when it goes off. Once you get those bags positioned, now you got to slide up behind the gun. So you need to move your bench ahead. You need to wrap your arm around there. Now once you're in that position, then we can position the rest to get you on the target. Okay, now I bumped these legs down just to make sure that that rest is fast to the bench. Now it's really sturdy, fast to the bench. What I want you to do when we shoot this gun, is I want you to take hold of this right hand, gonna pull it directly back into your shoulder. We're gonna take the left hand, put it right behind that rest, like kind of slide it up, pull back with both hands. When the gun goes off, you want it to just go like that. Okay, now are you comfortable? Okay, you got this on your shoulder, everything's straight in line. Got a good grip, okay. We can adjust this rest here. What you need to do is just take your thumb and push on that and it'll bring the gun right up into the proper position. Yeah, you notice he's adjusting the rest here rather than sliding the gun. If he slid that gun backwards to make the muzzle come up, he's gonna dig in with the post. So instead of moving the gun, he's in the right position with his studs the rest is being moved to get the gun on the target. So you can get your hands around there, you get a good feel. What I'm gonna have you do is I'm gonna have you dry fire this gun one time. Now just go ahead and dry fire it. Good. That's the way you wanna hang on to it. Now what you're concerned with is even pressure, hold it, and hold it while the gun's going off. What we wanna see is the gun just go like that, straight back at you. Now, remember again, get a good grip on it. I want you to hold that gun like that, both hands, and just squeeze it off. Perfect. Very little movement on the gun, straight back, no jump. It's an excellent job. That's how you sight in a DSG slug gun. For more detailed information on how to shoot and zero your slug gun, go to the shooting resources page at tarhunt.com.